What's up my YouTube page? Today is Thursday, February 17th, 2022. It is 109 in the afternoon. And I wanted to just make a video real quick. Just talking because I'm, uh, I'm waiting for a phone call right now for a job. Uh, I wouldn't really call it my dream job necessarily. Because um, that's all done and over with. But... It's my mission job, the starting point to my mission job, the starting point where I'm actually going to be able to financially be independent anyways, um, because I feel like I've already started on my mission in a lot of different ways, but this job is really going to solidify that for me to the point where I, I really feel I'll be able to get out of my depression and, and my feelings of, of loathing and, and lack of self-worth, lack of feeling of self-worth, um, I really feel, well, I know it will, because, I mean, it's just, it's just common sense, like, if you can't afford things that you want and provide, you know, for the things that you'd like to provide for, for your, your loved ones, then you feel like shit, it's just like, it's just, you know, a byproduct feeling of not being able to do those things, um, whether you, you know, love money or not is irrelevant it's just the feeling of of not you know being able to to um to engage in the world around you the way you would like to the way others would like you to as well um so yeah i'm just I'm just kind of nervous about this phone call because I haven't wanted a job in a long, long time and much less wanted a job like, you know, that I felt like was going to be something that I really needed for my mission because this is a, it's a job with a nonprofit. Um, okay, it's a paralegal job for this nonprofit called Racy's. It's an organization that basically helps people that are immigrants that are trying to uh, find a legal way to the United States. So it's going to be a great opportunity for me to not only build on my nonprofit experience and my paralegal experience at the same time, but it's going to give me the opportunity to engage with people from uh, different countries, which is going to be part of my later mission you know, going to different countries, not just Mexico. I know right now I know a little bit of Spanish, so it's a lot easier. But I plan on learning different languages for different countries as well, or at least getting so those translator devices when I could afford them. Then that won't even be an issue later. But anyways, I'm just really nervous right now. And it's one twelve. They're supposed to call it one thirty. So I'm more nervous, to be honest, not that they won't like me or that I won't get the job. I'm more nervous about if I do get offered the job if they're going to do a background check because um my record is not exactly squeaky clean i have uh, a couple of things on there that um that i that i earned when i was going through my lower points in my life and um my political activities and whatnot as well so i don't know maybe it'll be a good thing in the person's mind that's interviewing me, I hope. I hope. It all depends. I mean, it's just really that that's what it comes down to. The people that are that are interacting with you and whether they like you or not. That's the thing that's got to really matter. Because if they do really like you and they feel like you're going to be a good fit for the job, then they'll do what they can to get you hired. You know, they'll do what they can to make it work. So I really, really hope that's what happens here because I really want this job. And I'm going to shut the fuck up now and just try and put my mind at peace so I could be calm and fully present for this interview.